What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. It is a new release day. Happy new release day of PG Platinum. 2 old PG Platinum, sorry. 2019 20 Upper Deck OPG Platinum Hockey just released today. Pick your teams number three is what's sold out. 16 box master case. Appreciate all of you guys selling out our three master cases that we got in today. We should be getting more soon, so when we do, we'll post it up on our website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And if you bought two or more teams in this break, you got entered into winning a free box of OPG Platinum. No max entries. You buy two teams, you get one entry. You buy four teams, you get two entries. You buy six teams, you get three entries. And again, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, I alphabetize it. We'll do that at the end of the break to see who gets a free box. And here you go. <clears throat> Here's the list. Joseph, last ball mojo against the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, I seen that one too. Derek Rose. Uh, oh, you seen the hypothetical things? I seen the who would have a better, who would have been a better career if not injured. It was like Derrick Rose, Tracy McGrady, um, Penny Hardaway, and I forgot who the fourth was. But I, I don't know, man. I think Penny Hardaway. If it wasn't for his injuries, he'd be a baller, big time. But yeah, I see. I haven't seen that one. Four hypothetical basketball things. D Rose never gets injured. CB3 not traded to LA, or trade not blocked to LA Lakers. I know, man. Oklahoma City Thunder big three. I think they would have wreaked havoc. If they all would have stayed together. They were so young when they went to the finals. <clears throat> what about this one? What if Michael Jordan wasn't drafted by the Bulls? What if he was drafted to the Blazers? What if Kevin Durant was drafted by the Blazers and Greg Oden was drafted by the Thunder? <clears throat> yeah, that's another one, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't think so, right? What if Scottie Pimpin didn't ever get drafted by the by the Bulls and would would Jordan have done it all himself? Williams has never been talking, but I bought and sold a big Connor McDavid rookie. If you nice, look, man, some of the big like phenom rookies and like stars sell really well in hockey. Some other ones don't, but you have to give them a little time to develop. You know, a lot of people don't have the patience to kind of hold on and wait a little bit. It's a little different than, than other sports. A hockey one would be cool. Yeah, if Lindros didn't have didn't have those concussions, what would he? What was his his career turn out to be? That'd be a good one. What about what if Wayne Gretzky was never traded to LA? How many more Stanley Cups do they win? I know they were going broke and they needed money, but whew, that'd be a crazy one. Uh, Danny, I, I think we're going to be dark today and not do any personals. Uh, I worked earlier today from 11, getting up around 6, so I think personals will be tomorrow. I thought Teddy was going to be here to do personals today, but I guess not. I know, wasn't Kobe so close to becoming a Clipper? That would have been a good one. Oh, you mean dra Oh, yeah, if you wouldn't have gotten traded and drafted by Charlotte, yeah. That's true. Oh, uh, no, Vincent. I mean, we've just been selling out the hockey. It's just been taking a little bit of time, like an hour each break. But this is our last hockey case break for the day. So after this, I got to do Prism, and then Joe will cop on like his normal. It goes 6 to 10, and then I think Flawless will break tonight. NT will break tonight, probably. Impeccable might break tonight. Do the other half of Flawless Baseball, maybe some... Five star. So check out the website, Vincent. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I 
That's right. Wasn't Tom Glavin a good hockey player? Remember, he came out in Contours. You guys remember Contours Hockey? That was a fun product. You know, wasn't LeBron James a number one recruit for football and basketball in Ohio? What if, like, what if LeBron would have stu played football instead of basketball? How dominant would he been? You guys remember those, like, LeBron commercials where he was in a Cleveland Browns uniform? That'd be crazy. Uh, Theo Dan, I have pulled a couple of those. I pulled a nice, uh, McKinnon. Pond, and then I, I was it was another player I forgot who it was. Deion Sanders is still what the only player to win a World Series and a and a Super Bowl. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Anthony Bennett. That's a name I'm sure Cleveland doesn't want to hear. We got a surge. Okay, G. I need to watch uh, <laughs> I need to watch the uncut gems again. Guy G in my store.
All right, guys. Good luck. Brock Besser, Matt Pink. You got a seismic gold of Leon Dreisaitl. 32 out of 50. Kale, Abramov, Gallagher, Violet Pixels. Jack Hughes and Sorella to one ninety nine. Got Quinn Hughes, Kirby Dotch, Rainbow, Scott with the Blackhawks in this break, and Michael Del Colle. New York Islanders Joe with that one. Update. Next one. We have a Anders Lee. Green Houndstuff. It's a new insert color. It's nice. Is Landers again, Joe. Claude Giroux. Jack Hughes. Point. Bludger. Timmons. Ruinsky. Violet Pixels. Two three ninety nine. And Noah Dobbs. Nice break for the Islanders so far. Kirby Dodge. Zadina. And Brandon. Ricky Autos for the Devils. Matt Buckler. I got a redemption. Alexander Barkov to one ninety nine. Zadina Sunset. All right, let's see behind Cam Fowler who this redemption is. Good luck. We got 
Opeachy Platinum. Autographs. No numbering. And it's Nick Suzuki. Very nice for the Montreal Canadiens. Joseph, who got last bomb mojo. There you go. Nice. Two good autographs for you, Joseph. Back to back breaks. Lindholm, Kel Fleury, Farby, Jack Hughes, Crosby Sunset. Kale and Brady Keeper for the Panthers. Rookie Retro. Florida Panthers. Going to Paul Harris. Les Bronx. Matt Pink. And a Jack Hughes Violet Pixels. Very nice. Devils, Matt Buckler, two sixteen out of three ninety nine, and a Sorella, Ryan Poling, All right, next four boxes, guys. We'll do the helmets for you guys after I finish the prism, which will probably be around six o'clock for you guys.
All right, so that means he'll do it at 9.40 for you then. Or sorry, he'll do that for you at uh, 9 o'clock. All right, guys, two more boxes here, and then we'll be halfway through the case. Then we'll go through these four. I love it, Mike. I, I think it's one of the better years. And I think a lot of people that didn't really know about hockey in general today that watched them really loved it. So we're definitely going to get more. About a hundred, Noah. A hundred more boxes. But no, the sunset is one of my favorite ones now. I mean, the cars just look so much nicer. It, to me, it just looks a little more um, clean, kind of like optic this year for basketball. 
don't know if you get the word what I mean by clean, but I just love that there's nothing else around it, just literally the, the player, the logo at the bottom, the name. And then, of course, like the inserts this year. Sunset's one of my favorite. I like how they changed the uh, Arctic freezes. Kind of looks like, you know, it's frozen. Those pond hockeys inserts. I just, they added more color uh, to this year that they had it in many recent years. So, it just looks so much nicer. Ten out of one ninety nine. Is he gonna get to eight oh two? He is well on his way. Carlson, like I said, sunsets is just my favorite this year. I need to find all the kings I can. Castle, and then you kind of really see the rainbow versions this year for sure. I think in past years, sometimes they weren't even as rainbows. Grubauer. Allure was really good this year. I mean, it looks like select. But it was really good this year. Zadina. They also made uh, Violet Pixels tonight to, out of 399 this year. They added more numbered. Numbered ones. Suzuki. Yeah, that was probably the only downside of Allure was the stickers. These are definitely all on card. Arctic Freeze, Ben Bishop. Jack Hughes and Hayjack rookie autos. Rangers going to Ian. Ben Bishop, Matt Pink, Wallstrom, Rainbow. Next one, we got Carlson, Arctic Freeze to 99. And Nick Suzuki, Sunset. Montreal lost my mojo, Joseph. You got some nice good rookie Sunsets in your collection now, Joseph. Cody Glass. Now you definitely got to go after the rookie, rookie sunsets. Frederick. Capocaco inserts. Jonathan Marsh or so. Hinola. PK. I'm not sure what stat. I haven't seen what stature looks like. I'm sure they previewed it already, haven't they? Vaseline. That's an update from last year for the Jets. Red Rainbow. Uh, Winnipeg Jets, Philip. Emil Benstrom.
And Treyer, right at the top. Columbus Blue Jackets auto. George. Dang. Barkov. Pearl Horkin. Huberto. Jack Hughes. Uh, it can, Vincent. I think any brig on the website has potential for it to break tonight. It's just a matter of when. We're live till 10 o'clock Pacific tonight. So that's another, for about another five hours. So that's plenty of time to fill up a lot of breaks on our website. So if you want if you want it to fill, help out. Just grab a spot now. And here's our first pond from this case. Pond Hockey, Cloud Giroux. Flyers going to Randy. Ovi. Zadina and Abramo. That's right, Vince. And that's all we do. <laughs> but no, I have. I think it has potential to break tonight. I mean, I think Flawless is going to break tonight. Connor Timmons. I think the NT might break tonight. You know. I think the. I even think also the. Um, the tiered optic might even break tonight. We're halfway there, I believe, the last time I seen it. So, I think we're gonna do a lot of breaks tonight. And this reason why we came, I came in early today, was because I wanted to obviously get as many of these OPG Platinum cases out of the way, and we sold it out today. So, big thanks to you guys. So after this, from here on out, most most breaks aren't gonna be more than you know 20, 30 minutes. Jack Eichel. To bring cat and we'll get more of this too guys maybe for the weekend or something Stamkos Gallagher any Patrick Liney lady what do you mean by that Mike like because why isn't he in the set or why isn't he just like talking to the media as much I think he's having a rough time <laughs> Didn't he? Didn't he get held out to? Didn't he hold out to get paid a ton and didn't even make more than like six million? Well, Matthews made like eleven. It's just that he's just a scorer. That's all he does. And a one ninety nine. Oh, well, after your rookie year, you're not obligated to really sign anymore. So, a lot of rookies after their first year are just like, yeah, I don't want to sign anymore. That's probably why we haven't seen much of him. Wow, look at that. Jake Gensel. Thrilling finishes. That's a nice insert. That's what it really is. This is after your rookie year, you're not obligated to sign as much. That's a nice one. Penguins going to Michael Gucci. I think Matthews and Connor McDavid just like like to or just because they have to because they're superstars I don't know I pronounce it Kachuk since I watch hockey I know what it's, it's pronounced as like but if I didn't I would not know what to say oh. don't like Matthew though I think he's a punk Yeah, that's how I would spell it out too. Cut Chuck. <laughs> Ooh, getting tired, guys. It's hitting me. You gotta prepare for Bowman, though. For Bowman baseball, though, I'm gonna be here like at 8 in the morning. Isn't it Keith? Keith. Then it's Matthew Brady. There's one more, isn't there? Isn't there three Kachucks?
There's three Kachuk brothers, right? Or is it just two? Matthew and Brady. But I, I thought there was one more. Oh, there's only two? Ah. Uh, who am I thinking of then in NHL that has three boys? There's some family member that has three boys in the NHL. Stalls have three. That's right. The stalls have three. Mark, Eric, and Jordan, I think. Who else? Quinn Hughes, Jackies is two. Mikey and Joey Anderson's two. Um, Lemuse had two, right? Well, there's a lot of other Lemuse, but they're not related. But imagine having three different kids to play professional in their league. It's crazy. Marcus is Marcus Patterson not related to, to the other Patterson, is he? I think the Sedins are probably the most famous twins. <laughs> I don't I don't know if there's any other twins out there. I'm sure there was. Or has been. But their story is just incredible. Like you draft one, you have to draft the other. Like, imagine having to waste two first-round picks or two picks on them. Not that they weren't worth it, obviously, because they were for the Canucks, but... It's pretty interesting. But I feel like a lot of brothers are like one years apart even though like even though like Quinn and Jack Hughes they look identical to me you know they're like one year apart and I thought they were real twins but obviously Quinn got drafted last year and Jack this year Almost mixed them up, but I didn't. Oh, these that's are okay. The, these are all the numbered cards. Oh, okay. And these are just the other ones that need to be top loaded, so I'll keep them separate. Oh, we're thinking. Okay. I thought they were only one and two years apart. I think Quinn got drafted last year in 18, and then 
Jack in this year is 19. But I don't know age-wise. I thought it would only be one year, but could be wrong. I thought they were twins, honestly. But so far, Quinn has been doing much better. Oh, Quinn is two years older. Maybe Jack is turning 19 this year, so that's why it looks like he's two years older. What are their birthdays in years? Maybe they're like a year and something apart, but only a year in schools. In school, you know. School years, I mean. Jack turned 19 in May. Okay, so they're about a one year apart. A year and... Maybe a couple months or something. That makes sense. Imagine, I mean, I'm over here saying, like, you know, Jack Hughes over here is not having the best season, but then he's a rookie and he's only 18. <laughs> that was like when he got drafted, he was like a fresh 18 year old. It's like crazy for me. I still love like Adrian Campion. He's been doing really, really well the last couple months with the Kings, finally. And I forget that he was drafted as a 17-year-old. He's been in the league now. What, this was like his third season or second season, full third season. And yet he's still only like 21. Because he had to play a year in the minors or so. It's like, damn. 21, 22. Again, that whole Devils team obviously needs a lot of help, but hopefully they turn it around. All right, guys. Morgan Frost to 99. Arctic Freeze. Sedina. And who was in there, Mike Tower? Was it Gabriel Velarde? Breakout Prospects? Was he on there for the Kings? I think he's definitely going to break out. Capo Caco. Duty. Manta. Violet Pixels. Oh, okay. I thought you read into it. I was saying if they talked about him or not. Out of 399. Farabi. We got a redemption. Leave that right there and we'll go through it. Matthews, Matt Pitt, uh, Matt Pink. Opichi Platinum Rookie Autographs MJ Max Jones Which I believe is Ottawa? I don't know I'm Trying to think of Max Jones really quick No that's Ducks Mike Gallucci with the Ducks L. 
Bell Dukies. There you go. All right, next one. Evgeny Malkin. Nikolai Prohorkin. Nice. Sarello. Felipe Mar. Big, whoa, two back-to-back. -back. Victor Hedman to 399. Jacob Truba to 399. So important, Mike. If I didn't have a Ducks-King rivalry, it wouldn't be fun at all. Poeng, Zadina. Kirby Dodge. Felipe Meyer. <laughs> I know, I was doing it as a joke. <laughs> I used to do it for Jack, too. <laughs> Jack. Where's Jack at, man? We've been bringing all this platinum. He's not even here. Caden. Fulcher. Violet Pickles auto for the Detroit Red Wings. Going to George. There you go, George. Poeng, Zadina, there you go, Matt Pink, and Victor Olofsson, Red Prisms, 54 out of 199, and Noah Dobson. Sunset. Gusev. Kessel. Bless you. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, Sean, Sean. You're lucky I'm, a feel, I'm feeling a little tired right now. Because you know how I duke it out with you. But I don't feel like, I don't feel like coming back today. <laughs> Morgan Frost. Vasilevsky. I have one of those, Mike Tower. I used to wear it back in the day a lot in Jaspie's Hockey Town. I don't know, somewhere in my closet. <laughs> I have that one, yeah. The only one I actually don't have is the retro. The the Chevy logo Kings jersey. That's one of the only ones I don't have. I need to get one of those. But I have the purple and black. I got the purple and yellow. I even have a yellow and purple that is very... Not good looking, but I don't really use that one. But I like the purple with lo yellow numbers better. Ryan Poen. And I, I think I gave one away to a customer one time in a break. Joel Farabi. Uh, I don't have, actually have one, Sean, but my brother does. A Berg, <laughs> that's, that's a rough jersey. But actually, it's still one of the popular ones. A lot of people like to buy them. Regehi, Suzuki, 
Nugent Hopkins. Buy me one, King D. I'll wear it. Trayer. Paul Mary. Alright, just remember when I pull you something nice, King D, send me the jersey with a gift receipt. That way. <laughs> In case I don't want it, I can exchange it for another one. I'm just joking. Kale Flurry. At 149. And Casey Middlestad. Look at that. An update for the Sabres. Going to Phillips. Rookie Auto. Come on, King Dean. I can't put that in one arm. I'd probably get to like this, and that's it. <laughs> no, Elvis, yeah. He's actually. What's funny is that Elvis is in the autograph sets, but he's not like in the base sets. I feel like. They may have thought to held him out. And then all of a sudden, they thought. You know what's crazy? Is Merz Lincoln is not in the, not in the Golden Treasures parallel set. So is in Quinn Hughes and Nick Suzuki. So these people are going to be in Golden Treasures next year. Isn't that crazy? So there's no Elvis, Merz, Lincolns, Mac Jones, Noah Dobson, Suzuki, Quinn Hughes, Olofsson. Um, not in orange. Emerald Surge, Golden Treasures. Wow. So that means those players one-on-ones will be in next year's updates. That's pretty crazy. All right, good luck, man. Good luck, guys. Last four boxes of the break. Um, well, now that Adidas has the rights to it, they've made them, I think, a little bit more affordable than I think they used to be. They have so many levels now. You can get, like, a Fanatics one for, like, 100 bucks now, probably. You know, with numbering, maybe a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, if you still want, like, the official, like, you know, authentic ones, the ones like the players wear, the really thick ones, and you know, they're not heat pressed on, they're all stitched and everything. Yeah, I think those are still like 300 bucks. But you can get like a Fanatics version of it. Then they have like Adidas Premier. So they kind of made it more affordable, which is great because they're damn, damn pricey. Hockey jerseys are pretty stylish. I think you can definitely pull off like a jersey with some pants or something, you know? Just wear that out. Just like basketball jerseys. I think basketball jerseys are still probably the most 
out of anything, out of any pro sport jerseys, maybe maybe soccer or baseball, but I think basketball stuff might be number one. You know, yeah, more of a sweater, really, so like for the cold. I thought basketball still is probably the number one. Baseball, yeah. Yeah, if you want to stay warm, you want to go out with a to stay warm instead of putting on a sweater, you just put on a Kings jersey or a NHL jersey. I feel like when I see like YouTube artists, SoundCloud when they make videos, they always have like a jersey and it's either like a Blackhawks jersey, it's a Kings retro Chevy logo jersey on. Like, yeah, they could rock that. Alright guys, and again, these are the last four boxes of the case and of the break. And really appreciate you guys selling out these three master cases on the release day. We only got a couple in today. I believe we'll get more in soon. And we can post up some more Pick Your Teams. So after this break's over, quickly do the Prism 5-box retail. And then Joe will come in and step in and do the helmets and anything else that sells out tonight. Which I believe it's going to get very busy later on. I think um, NT might sell out today. I feel like Flawless is going to go today. Five and eight left, and there's no random number blocks left? That's crazy. Did someone take the Cardinals? No, the Cardinals are still there. Cardinals, Panthers, Vikings, Saints, Giants. I think we can feel that. Um... So yeah, even both flawless breaks will probably go today. I feel like tops five stars moving very nicely. That might go today. And then you got the basketball and packable should go today. And that tier teams is down to four. All right, guys, last box to rip open. Good luck.
All right, guys. Here you go. Four boxes left. Shy Fleet at 399 Valor Pixels. Jack Hughes. Again, Quinn and Jack are just coming pairs. Riley Stillman. Blue Rainbows to 149. Florida Panthers. And Zach McEwen. Ewen, or Zach McEwen, sorry. I think that's what it is. Vancouver. Tomas Chabot. Cody Glass for Vegas. Trent Frederick. Sunset. Kale. Brunstrom. Miko Heischer. Ooh, nice Connor McDavid for the Oilers. 141 out of 149. Retro. Wallstrom. Suzuki. Meal Benstrom. Carson Coleman for Boston. Boston Bruins going to Karen Steele. Nassim Kadri. Quinn Hughes, Carl Grundstrom. First one of today. 
Just a base. Avalanche going to Joseph. Jack Hughes, Line A. All right, guys, last box. Good luck. Campo Carco, Ryan Poing, Cordo Stewart. Kale. Hinola to one eighty nine. And Orange Checker is Kopi. Nineteen out of twenty five. For my Kings going to Joseph. Bennington. Out there. And Ryan Kuffner, rookie autos for the Detroit Red Wings. It's a rainbow rookie auto. Red Wings going to George. And there you go, guys. That was the break. Here we go. Some autos. Some numbered cards. It's okay though. I got it right there. Alright. So here was some numbered cards. And these ones are all the rainbows or rookies that we were top loaded already. Thank you, Joe. And then here were all the color. Here, so in case you didn't get an autograph, a lot of color right here. That you will also be getting besides all the rookies inserts short prints there you go you got a pond cloud Giroux. remember the violet pixels are numbered this year to 399 a couple of the sunsets green there Anders Lee Seismic Gold. There you go. And then here were the autographs. Kuffner, Makar, Coleman, McEwen, Casey Middlestad, Lundstrom, Fulchers. You got Max Jones Redemption, Jake Gensel, Treyer, Vaselinen, Suzuki. That was just a sunset. Hayjack, Jack Hughes, Violet Pixels, Brady Keeper, Nick Suzuki Redemption. Uh, Devils and Islanders right there with Doug Holly. There you go, guys. This was a Peachy Platinum Picker Team number three. Thank you for selling out all three master cases on release day, guys. That was awesome. Now let's give away our last of Peachy Platinum box, at least for today. And again, if we do get more, which I think we are very soon, uh, check it out on our website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, so you can buy in if you missed out. So here you go. Let's set up a randomizer. And let's see. So Christopher got two. You're in. George had two. You're in. Ian with two. You're in. Joe with two. You're in. Joey with two. You're in. Joseph, one, two, three, four, five. So technically just two in. All right, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. x line with one, Karen with one, Matt with one, Michael Gallucci with two, with four entries, or four gets two entries. Nick, Paul, Philip is with two, so you get one entry. Uh, Randy with one, Rich with one, Scott Wilcox with two, and then Shank just with one, so that'll be one entry. 
All right, here you go. Good luck. Customer number one uh, gets the box. And after three and a one, four times, good luck. One, two, three, and four. Four times. Christopher. There you go. Congratulations, man. We'll send you that box sealed. Appreciate everybody. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.